Today I've got the Chili Pad Cube 3.0 where I'm going to be testing it with my Cornet Electrosfog meter. Right, like you can have your bed here and that unit can be the other side of the room. Hello, Alex here from alexvegas.com and today I've got the Chili Pad Cube 3.0 where I'm going to be testing it with my Cornet Electrosfog meter. Um, for those of you that want to know more about this meter, I'll put a link to uh, where you can buy it and um, uh, explains a bit more. It's about 200 bucks, it's a really good unit. I've used this for testing a lot of my devices such as the Aura Ring and the second gen chili pad which is the uh, Ula. So if you haven't seen those videos, go check them out below. But yeah, today I'm purely going to be looking at this chili pad. Uh, if you don't know much about the chili pad, I'll give you a real quick overview. It is a refrigerator unit in a way. It's a unit that cools water and um, also heats water and pumps it through this. A mattress topper with silicon pipes in it uh, and allows you to sleep in a cool environment or heat it up and uh, sleep nice and warm. Um, this isn't going to be a review of the unit, I just purely want to test the EMF levels. I am doing, uh, by the time you watch this, hopefully it'll be out, I do have a comprehensive review on the ULA, so check that out. Um, and I'll also do a head-to-head -head the chili pad versus the ULA, so check all them out. If you've got any questions, leave them below. Alright, so let's get into it. Um, I'm going to try to do this the same way as I did with the ULA, um, where I test electric magnetic fields, radiation, microwave, electric fields at various distances. Um, and I also, I've got the results from the ULA here as well, so I'll also do a bit of a comparison. Yeah, like I said, this is the cheaper option to the ULA. I do have a discount code, FERGUS25, F-E-R-G-U-S 25. That will save you 25% on this unit, which is quite good. Um, I'm not going to get into the technical stuff and the health issues around EMF. Uh, chances are, if you're watching this, you already understand that. Um, because I believe that um, you know it's very hard to, to minimize all EMF exposure during the day, but when it comes to nighttime when we're sleeping, you know that's the one time when you want to go out of your way to try and minimize that load because that's when the body is healing and um, defenses are dropped, so to speak. So uh, if you are going to be using a unit like this, which is going to help with sleep and definitely helps with deep sleep, which is why I use them, especially in summertime, um, then you want to make sure that the output isn't stressing the body. It's not a big EMF load, right? I put a bit of water in here, uh, plugged it in, um, I've got my Cornet meter here. This unit doesn't have Bluetooth, um, the ULA has Bluetooth which you can disable so you only need to turn it on to like update the, the schedules and whatnot. This doesn't have Bluetooth so, um, alright so I will be testing um, magnetic EMF. I'm not worried about uh, uh, microwave EMF because there's nothing, there's no Bluetooth on this, there's no wireless on this, um, it's rock bottom green on this meter here. So we'll just hold that set up. So uh, you can see, that's the number I was getting um, with the microwave field right up next to it. So there's nothing to worry about there. Uh, let's just quickly check electric field. Remember the big one is magnetic field. So electric field is, is in the red um, right next to the unit, which is pretty much the norm for any device. Come out three, four inches and we're into the green slash yellow. Come out, what? A foot and we're in the green so uh, I'll just hold it there which is what I expected I'm not putting too much effort into this because these numbers aren't anything so that's electric field that big peak was when I was right close to it and then see how it drops down I held it at a, um, a foot out so we're right in the green so that's good no electric field at a distance we're all green until a couple inches out no absolutely no microwave fields now um that's good that again that's the same as Ula except for the Ula has the Bluetooth mode, but you know, you turn that off when you're sleeping anyway, so it's not an issue. So, magnetic field, let's get testing. Now, I'm going to put my quantic meter into low frequency, low frequency, it's measured in micro teslas, I believe. Now, this is set up, um, you'll see a color signal here on the on the bottom, on the side, green, yellow, red. Uh, I have programmed this um, based on building biology numbers. Uh, I'll put a link to it in the description. Um, it's the more sensitive, the more strict their settings than the default setting on the Cornet. So these numbers, uh, pretty much the number, you don't, if you don't understand EMF levels and, and, and what's the safe number, we just look at the um, traffic light system on, on the side. Green is gr good, safe to be in, in proximity to that level. Uh, yellow is cautious, you know, not ideal, minimize exposure, red is avoid. So 
If you're sleeping in bed eight, nine hours a night, then you definitely want something that's in the green, all right? Your red is very dangerous and it's stressful to the body and yellow is not ideal. Um, my house, the wiring and everything's been done to, to minimize EMF and, and microwave and, and um, magnetic fields. So the background levels are non-existent, all right? So it's pretty much no interference with this thing on. So I've just turned it on and I'm right next to it and that thing's fired up. There's a bit of water in there so it's pumping it around and we're overload right next to it. But again, you're not sleeping right next to it so we're not worried about that. We come out, you know what? I'll measure this properly on the ground like I did with the Ula. Hold tight. All right, so what I've done is I've mapped out a tape measure here on the floor uh, and also put the um, mattress topper from the chili pad and the cable, uh, the hose, connecting hose. Um, that hose is two and a half meters, which is about eight and a quarter, eight and, yeah, eight, eight foot or so, um, which is actually longer than the Ula. Uh, I think the Ula was two meters, so that's good. The longer the better because you can move that unit you know, that's a long way, right? Like you could have your bed here and that unit can be the other side of the room. So um, I'm gonna go through and, and test the magnet magnetic numbers at each foot. One, two, three, four, five, or, or thereabouts. All right, like I said, at the ba at the unit, we're overload, so not ideal. Uh, this thing doesn't have feet on it, damn it. So I think it's, shh, we're gonna go this side. So about 30 centimeters is about a foot. We're at 0.27, um, 27, 0.27, which is a lot lower, which is yellow, but it's a lot lower than the Ula. The Ula was 0.68, uh, two feet, thereabouts, 0 0.06, which is also in the yellow. Um, the Ula was 0.18, so again, we're quite low here. And then three feet, we're, yeah, we're green. We're green at three feet. I put it on an angle like that because the sensor is actually on the side. So, um, yeah, about 0.4 because the sensor's now moved distance. But that's pretty good. So, 0 0.4. Yellow. So, um, if we go, it's four feet. Frequency. 0 0.3. So, that was very interesting. Um, it's a lot lower than the Ula. The Ula hit, hit green at four feet, 1.2 meters away. Um, the chili pad hit green at three, oh, well. Now technically it didn't hit green until the four feet as well, but it would have been um, maybe three and a half feet. So that's a fair distance. I mean, if you go three and a half feet, let, let's move it to where it's green. All right, so the, um, Chili pad hit the yellow, uh, the green safe zone at three feet, which is great. I mean, at three feet, the Ula was rock bottom yellow. Um, so the Ula was 0 0.09, this one's 0 0.04. Um, you know, sure it's double, but you're at such low levels compared to say the 0.68 right at the base. Um, but that's, that's pretty cool, like three feet away, uh, you know, but most beds are a foot or two high, right? So, um, you know, you put that off to the side, you know, under your, your bedside table um, and your head's two, three feet away, you're in the safe zone already, especially because this hose goes for two and a half meters, what, eight, nine feet. So you could literally, you could put it like on the other side of the room. I mean, if you're sleeping in a bed on your own, you just put it over the other side of the bed. You could put it down where your feet, like underneath the bed. Um, but then only your feet are sort of getting a bit of exposure. But saying that, that's that's probably, if you're worried about convenience and aesthetics and you want it in a safe place, but you're not super, super stressed about EMF. Remember, if you've got wires going through your, your wall and your, your bed's right next to that, you're gonna get a massive load from that anyway. That's why I recommend buying one of these meters so you can go around and test it all. Um, but to be honest, probably one of the best spots given that two, three feet is as far away as you need to be, is to put that right down the end of the bed where your feet are, in the middle, and um, run the two and a half meter hose underneath the bed with an extension cable, and um, it's out of sight, you know, it's not taking up space, and you're still gonna be in a safe zone. So, um, yeah, there we go. I hope those numbers help. Check out the Ula video. Again, the Ula video was also safe. Uh, it was just, had a little bit more power coming out of it, you know, so you had to be a little bit further away, um, but both fine. I mean, I'm using the Ula. Um, 
yeah, if you want to get one of these, Fergus 25 saves you 25%. Fergus 15 saves you 15% on the Ulla. That's the best discount they could give, which is still a pretty good discount. Uh, check out my video for the EMF on the Ulla. And stay tuned, hit subscribe below, because I'm going to be doing a head-to-head -head with the chili pad and the Ulla. And I'll be releasing my big review of the Ulla anytime now, depending on when you're watching this. Give me a thumbs up if you like that. Check out my blog, alexfergus.com. I've got lots of stuff like this uh, over there. And um, say hi.